Jesus seen them in the middle of the sea, straining at the oars, for the wind was against them. At about the fourth watch of the night Jesus came to them, walking on the sea. Mark Matthew, 6 45 Chapter 14 Jesus comes, walking on the water, to his disciples in the raging storm. In the middle of the sea, Jesus came walking to the apostles. On the raging sea, Peter walks on the water toward his master but gets afraid and sinks into the water. Peter cries out, Jesus save me. Jesus does, save Peter. Jesus will save us as well. Cry out to Jesus. When Jesus walked on the water, he created an anti-gravitational force. He could do this because he invented gravity. And everything else. John 6 19. The ship was in the middle of the sea. Mark 6 47. When the apostles saw Jesus walking to them. To save them from the violent demonic storm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. John 6 19 20 and 21. When they had rowed three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the tumultuous sea and approaching the boat. And they were terrified. But Jesus said to them, It is I. Be not afraid. I am. Stop being frightened. Then they were glad for him to come into the boat. And now the boat went at once to the land they had steered toward. John 6 21. And immediately the boat was at the land where they were going. The men were stunned with bewildered wonder. And said, What manner of man is this? That even the winds and the sea obey him? Henry Moore's study Bible note. This manner of man was God incarnate. He created the winds and the sea. So it was no wonder he could control them. Jesus stopped the storm. It was a miracle. Then the disciples worshipped him. You really are the Son of God. They exclaimed. When Jesus walked on water and caused the ship to be transported and the demonic storm to cease, the fish praised their Creator. Let us join them and praise to Jesus. Praise and thank Jesus. We praise and thank you, God, our Creator and Savior. Lord Jesus, you created everything, and we worship you.